Hi, I'm Marla. Give me a minute. I want to talk to you about Halloween. I know there are lots of angles I could take here, but I'm talking about the dressing up in scary or not-so-scary costumes and going door-to-door -door to get candy. I live on a street where we only get destination trick-or-treaters. That's when your friends schlep their kids over so you can see how cute they look, and then you have to have candy for the mom and the dad and the kid. Every year, I buy two or three bags of prime candy, anticipating a rapid succession of doorbells ringing, cute little ones in full regalia, and loud, excited announcements of trick-or-treat as I open the door. Here's what I want to know. When does it end? When can I give up this charade? When do I get to stop buying candy with the pretense of handing it out? Every year it's the same. If I'm lucky, over the course of the night from about 5 till about 8 p.m., my doorbell might ring about 10 times. I don't understand it. I'm ready. My porch light's on. I've put out candles. I've got candy. And tell me this. When is someone too old to trick-or-treat? I say it's about the time they can drive themselves to Value Village and put their costume together. At the end of the night, I've probably got about as much candy left as I've handed out. And there is such thing as too much chocolate. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm Marla. Thanks for listening. See ya.